Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I would like to explain how do we create a table, insert something into a table, update a table using the merge command or normal SQL update or how do we delete specific rows and how do we drop the table, these kind of uh, basic uh, SQL statements in Databricks, how do we do that? It's a very basic video, so I'll demo you both on SQL as well as PySpark as well. So let's go into the demo. So right now I have a CSV file in my volume. I'll just use this file to load the data into the tables and I'll try to explain all the approaches using PySpark, Python and SQL. Okay. So in PySpark to read a file, we need to use spark.read.format. What is the format? It's a CSV file. So we use this format option. Do we have the header in the file? Yes. So header true and the schema. So the schema we need to create based on the source file, the CSV file. Right now in my CSV file, I have all these columns. If I open a CSV file. So this is my CSV file. I have these columns. So I just created schema on top of it. That's it. I decided the data types and everything and I created the schema. So to create the schema in, in Spark, we have to use the struct type on top hierarchy and inside we use struct field for explaining the each and every column. So the first one is integer column. Can it have nulls? Yes. Can it have nulls? Yes. So I just made true for everything so that that specific column can hold null values. If I make it as false, it, it will ignore all the null values. If there are any nulls in that specific row, in that specific column, in any row, it, it, it filters out that rows. It won't accept nulls. So that's it. So, so this is how we read the data in PySpark as a data frame and with this data frame we can create the table if we don't have the table and the table column data types and everything will be as per the schema whatever the data type for a so and so column in the schema the same will come as a data type for the table as well. So here we can use data frame dot write to and catalog name schema name and the table name create or replace if you use in case if it does not exist it creates and if it does exist, it will replace the existing table. So the using which we can write and create the table automatically using PySpark. In case if you have the table already created and if you don't want to replace, you can just save the data frame as a table. You can just use df.save as table and give the table name. That's it. So if I run it right now, if I go and check, I don't have any table created. If you see under retail schema. I should have this table created once it is executed. So I should see the table now if I refresh my catalog. See I have this table. See that's it I have this table. So we can view the data and everything. That's it. So this is how we create the table in PySpark. How do we create the table in SQL? It's similarly like in every RDBMS just to create table statement and if you give using delta here it's optional uh, if not also it takes as delta only if it is a manager table it takes as delta if you don't give but if you if you want you can give it because databricks by default creates only the delta tables that's it and also once the table is created if you have one or two rows you can use the command called insert into like how we do in every rdbms databases but if you want to load from a file the data should be loaded from a file to a table then in that case you go with copy into command copy into what is the table name you want to copy the data into from where you want to copy this is the path I have my file CSV file into this particular table and what is the file format if you have JSON JSON CSV as CSV Parquet as Parquet what is the file format and the format options CSV will have the header and Parquet will have the header so in that case you can give true this means like you can infer the schema what you feel the column data type should be that's it that's what it meant so if you run it it replaces the existing tables and creates and copies the data from the so and so volume to the so and so table as we have used create or replace it will, it will not throw error in case if we use just create statement alone it throws throws the error because we do have the table already that's it so it has created inserted so and so ro rows that's it and there is one more option for suppose if you have a table created in dev environment and if you want to create a similar table in other environment in that case you can use like operator so when you use like operator 
this there will be a new table name created with this name similar to the table like this like the data types and everything will be fetched from this and created like this it's like a like sql like operator that's it if we go now and if we refresh it we should see the another table prod the data types and everything should be same as it is as like a before table everything there should not be any change at all it won't load the data it will just create the table without loading the data that's it so we have seen how to create table using pyspark and sql now we can even create a table using this delta table class a python class from databricks and create the table as well if you see here delta table dot create if not exist and the spark session we need to pass and what is the table name you want the unity catalog name schema name and uh, table name and add column how many columns you want you can just do, do dot add column and give the column name and the data type if you have any comments you can give those comments as well to explain and dot execute it will create the table if here we have mentioned create if not exist so it won't th throw the error if we just give create it throws an error because the table already exists we have created above just to not the throw error i have given so that's it this is the three different ways we can create the table in databricks so now i'll just show you what is the data for these two columns okay these two so now i'm just trying to do a select statement for two root ids and i'll show you how can we update in databricks the different types of update statements using merge or using normal update or using pyspark okay so i for 999 and triple five are the id so let's use these ids in the going forward okay so now here i am creating a schema again i am creating some dummy data here 999 and 555 are there and these are the new records it will it will insert these and it should update this so i am just creating a view on top of it that's it i am not doing anything i just created a table data frame and i converted the data frame into a view this is a pyspark uh, pyspark stuff not related to databricks at all just convert a data frame into a view so that you can use that view in the going forward in the merge statements or update statements everywhere so if you see and to read a delta table we can even use delta table dot from name of spark session and the table name so what is the whatever the variable you give here that variable will have the data of this table so here i just to avoid confusion i'll give you table here so this table will have the data okay now i am aliasing that i mean this is a med statement using med statement we can update and insert the data at a time we have sql med we have pyspark and python med as well so here this is a uh, our table name i'm just aliasing to the real table name dot med and to which which table you want to merge you i want to merge with another data frame this one this particular and i am again aliasing that as well so my uh, underneath delta table name is this my aliased new data table name is this so i am just trying to merge these two data frames or tables whatever you think and when you try to merge you need to join on some condition right you can't merge two tables without any joining condition so i am just trying to join those on id so whenever the join happens it updates whenever there is no join it just inserts so for these two rows the join will happen so it updates each and every row because we have given update all and insert all for these four we should see the insert only okay so it ran successfully when we query for these particular two rows we should see the different values billy and elias on top it was caitlin and corin so that's how we update here we have updated each and every row from the updated data frame or updated table whatever you call it as that's it so this is how we update using the merge command in pyspark we can even update only specific set of columns as well so i'll just comment this piece of code for now and for this i'll give a a a b b b so my updated data frame will have the different first name here first name a a and b b b and when i try to update the first name i should see the different value and the salary will be as it is because it was already updated it has uh, already the new value so 
you uh, the above what i have showed you is to just uh, when you write dot when match update all here what we are saying is when match just update all i mean when the ids are matched just update everything when not matched insert all similarly we can say dot merge the source data frame and the updated data frame i mean new data data frame join on ids that means we need to merge on ids and then when matched set only these two we don't need to update everything we need to update only these two columns and when not match insert all because we need to insert the fresh data so when i run it so this python merge is successful and when we query we should see the different values in the f name see we see the different values so that's how we can merge only specific columns or sorry that's how we can update only specific columns or we can update each and every column using when matched update all to update all that's it here we are creating another temp view and i am trying to run the merge instead of python i am using this sql merge here so what am i doing merge into what is the target table to which we need to merge using the view we have created so this will be the fresh data and this will be the target data so i need to merge which means i need to join on some id when match update set star that means update everything whenever matched when not matched then insert star that means insert everything so when matched update everything when not matched insert everything this is how we use the sql statement to merge using merge we update and insert so that's how we did and when when i query the same i should see the different values here because i gave different values here see billy elias so that's how that's it but here we have seen using sql we are updating all we are inserting all how do we update only specific columns we just use the similar update statement update set the first name equal to the new data frame dot column name the second and column we need to update equal to new data frame dot column name that's it when match then update set you can just google saying like uh, merge statement using sql in databricks you will get the reference you don't have to mug up this that's it we have updated that's how we update using sql merge statement and the next is how do we append the data for the raw layer you don't have to update or insert everything whatever we comes we just store in a raw or a staging whatever we call in the first layer right in this mediterranean architecture databricks are recommends to use mediterranean architecture like load whatever you get first then transform which is called silver and then the gold the final layer which is used for the power bi and all the businesses so how do you read the data and append it as it is whatever you get to the existing table so i just read some sample data and i created a spark data frame and right now i'll just comment this if you see see if you see this this is the tar uh, target table it has the birth date as time stamp so let's run this it has run successfully and loaded 1000 rows now what we are doing here is we are trying to append the new data but while appending the new data for one of the column the data type is date type but the table which we have created as a time stamp uh, column if you want i'll just refresh and show you again see if you see the bis birth date as time stamp time stamp as a data type but when you are trying to write it is of date type okay in the new data frame which we have created it is of date type okay if you see it's of date type not of time stamp so when you try to append it should throw an error because there is a difference in the data types if you see it clearly throw an merge fields birth date and birth date because of the different data types so you need to make sure that the data frame which we are going to append and the target table have the same data types if not it throws an error so the databricks validates on write so while writing you should have the same so i'm just trying to convert it into time stamp that's it and when i merge it it should not throw an error because the data types are same now i guess i need i missed to import the time stamp type that's it and now when i run it it should not throw an error it should successfully append so that's how so the source and target data frame should have the same data types in each, each and every column because databricks validates on write it is a schema on write okay
it va that means it validates the scheme on right that's it so this is a plain uh, insert into statement which we can do in this is a plain update statement which we can do if in case if you don't have merge and if you want to update single single row or two rows and all so that's how we do so we can even update the data using the python as well not only just with the sql update statement so what we need to do we need to read the table and keep it in a variable that's called the delta table delta table is a variable name so we need to read the data as we have already seen delta table dot for name the spark session comma the catalog dot schema dot table name so this will have our data and that variable dot update and give the condition gender equal to f wherever the gender equal to f change the values i mean set the value gender equal to female wherever it is f update it to female so this is how you can even update using python okay not just using the update from sql you can even use the python to update in databricks also we can delete like this right you can delete uh, using the delete statement you can even delete in the python as well so the same read the data and keep it in a variable and that variable dot delete and give the condition that's it so it deletes the table sorry it, it deletes the rows which match this condition it will not drop the table for dropping you need to use drop table table name that's it so that is how we delete only specific set of rows using python so that's it guys i have explained on how to create update delete merge using python and sql both that's it thank you so much for watching